Hey, we hope you enjoyed our service today. It has been a pleasure having you join us. Well, there's a couple things uh, that we'd like for you to know about. If you would like to give towards the church and towards the ministry that we have here, we would be so appreciative. You know, our expenses really haven't gone down at all through this. And so we really appreciate those of you who have been giving. So thank you so much. And if you would like to give, there's a couple ways in which you could do that. You can write a check and mail it to P.O. Box 86, Sheldon, Wisconsin, 54766. Or you can go online to sheldonchurch.com. On the menu, there's a giving link. Um, you just click on giving and you look for a white circle. And that white circle that says online giving, you click on that and you can give by credit card or you can give by uh, your bank account uh, transfer. Or if you want to set up regular giving, you can do that through that too by logging in, making an account, and then there'll just be a regular gift given to us. And if you'd be willing to do that, we would really appreciate it. There's another thing we'd like you to know about. As you can see, sanctuary continues to be empty, and that means we're missing seeing each other. So this is kind of my challenge for you. Would you be willing to take a picture or a video of yourself or your family, maybe write a sign saying missing you or hi Sheldon Church or whatever you wanna do. And we would like to put it into a video so we can all see each other because it's been so long. And so you can take that file or that video, you can send it to jeremy at sheldonchurch.com. Send it to that place and we'll put together a little music video showing everybody's faces and all that's going on. It would be such an honor to be able to see you because it's been so long. So if you have any questions, email, email me or you can call the church and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you can have that video to us by Thursday by noon at the latest so we can get that all put together. We would be so thankful. I think it's gonna be fun seeing each other. And don't worry if you haven't had a haircut. Not everybody can cut their hair like I can. That's right, clippers, number two. Anyway, so we're gonna do that. A couple of prayer requests that we have this week. Um, there's some people that we know, my family, my sister and her family. Um, I got another email this week. Um, by one of the teachers, uh, her brother, Gary, has the coronavirus and is doing okay. Um, all of us know someone who might have the coronavirus or has had it. Uh, let's continue to pray for those. Let's pray for those who are in the nursing homes. Um, Harold and Bernice and Grace and Ann all are in their rooms and they can't leave their rooms at all. They're bringing the food there. There's just so little they can do. So and they can't have visitors. So let's pray for them. If you want to write a note to them, they would be so appreciative of that note. And we'll have the um, addresses available. Just email me and I'll make sure I get the addresses to you soon. Also, let's remember our missionaries. Uh, this is a hard time for them. They can't be doing ministry like they usually would, kind of like us. Um, and so pray for them, you know. Um, Miosh and Rosie and Haiti, Ninos in Mexico, and also we have our um, missionaries in, in Zimbabwe, Fani and Martha, as well as Tanji Bible College in Myanmar and others. They're, they're, this has shut them down too, so let's pray for them. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for how you provide for us. Uh, Lord, help us as it, this is hard, this isolation and being separated from people. We pray for those in the nursing homes. We pray for our missionaries. We pray for those with coronavirus. We pray for those who have been sick and have had to put off surgeries. Uh, Lord, we just pray that you might be with um, all of these struggles. And Lord, we know that you provide. We know that you're powerful enough and we know that you are there for us. So Lord, we ask for your help and your provision today. Thank you for your son who proves your love for us and your son who raised from the dead, who proves your power for us. So Lord, we pray in those things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week and we will see you next week. And don't forget, we do have daily devotions on Psalm 23. You can see those on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, and on our webpage. Many blessings to you. Bye-bye.